Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. Yes, it is that time again. Time to take up some more champions. Now, we've got a champion that we're going to be taking to rank three and then four. I actually did it in two different videos at two different times. Um, I took this champion to rank three, one level up. Then the next level up, I took him up to rank four. Then we have two rank fives. And we also have an Ascension. We do manage to get an Ascension in this video. All right. But anyway, if you think you can guess who I took up, let me know in the comments below. Put your guess down there. But we're about to reveal it in five, four, three, two, one. First up. Vox. So, uh, I recently pulled Vox, and I was very interested in his immunities. He has similar immunities to like Gallon and Hulkling, you know, with the power and all that good stuff. And uh, let me let me look at him really quick here while we're uh, ranking him up. Because I was I was very intrigued. He could be a nice um, alternative if they ban my Gallon and and uh, or if Gallon is not good for it, uh, and if they ban my Hulkling, he could be uh, an option for my path in Alliance War. All right. So his immunities, he's immune to poison. He's immune to power burn. Power Drain, Power Lock, and Special Lock. That's nice. Now, Hulkling, if I remember right, he's not immune to Power Lock, but Gallon is. So he seems to be closer to Gallon. So on my path, if they have an armor up, they will power burn you and you'll take damage. But if you're immune to power burn, you're not going to take damage. So now I have Gallon, I have Hulkling, and I have Vox that I can use on my path if they have armor ups. Now, most of the time I'm going to use Gallon, but it is nice to have alternatives. I could also use Namor um, to kind of cheese it, depending on who it is. All right. But anyway... That was my main reason for ranking Vox up. Other reason is just his look. I think he looks pretty cool. All right. Now, at the time that I'm recording this uh, voiceover, he's in the arena right now. Um, so we'll probably see more Voxes. And I think people aren't really all that uh, hyped over him. But for my path, path three, he's an option. So if you have Vox and you do take path three in Alliance War, you might consider Vox, taking your Vox up. So as I said, in uh, one level up, I took Vox all the way to rank three. I don't take champs to rank two anymore. I save. And then when I have the resources to take them straight to rank three, that's what I do. So I took Vox straight to rank three. Then I got resources to rank four, a champion. And I was like, huh. As I was looking over my champions, there were champions that I wanted to take to rank four and five, but I had them as seven stars or I was going to get them as seven stars sometime. That was my thinking. Like, for example, um, Photon. I want a seven star Photon, but I have the six star. And the six star, I believe, is still. Did I? I might have taken. I might have taken her to. Uh, she might be ranked four now. No, I think she's still ranked three. I'm not sure. Hold on. Let me look. Tell y'all in a minute. So we got Photon. 
Six star. Where you at, girl? Because I, I think I was, was holding off because of the uh, seven star availability. Yeah, she's still ranked three. Uh, so if I don't pull her, because I've been getting a lot of, um, what you call it, uh, dupes lately, I'll probably take her up to uh, rank four because I'll be tired of waiting. And I could do it, but I also have champions I want to take to rank five. So anyway, uh, that is the first rank up of the video. For this rank up, I wanted to do it live, okay? And this is why. I still haven't decided who I'm going to uh, ascend next, uh, but I will do it in this video. I just have to think about it a little bit more. All right, but I got this from the um, the Valentine event, I guess. And here are the eligible champions. And I bought this uh, with units because I knew I had someone I wanted to take up. Now, who do you think I'm going to take up out of this group here? And they're all, these are, these are all champions that are viable for me. All of them I like to take up. Um, some of them are available as seven stars. So what I often think about is their signature ability. If there's someone who really benefits from the signature ability, then the seven star version it's going to be a while before that one replaces the usefulness of the six star. Um, I do not have, I don't think any of these guys as seven stars. Now we have a AQ raid where I was using Titania. And as you can see, she's not even rank five. Um, Iceman, Null, Valkyrie, Kitty Pride, Kitty Pride, I love, but I don't really use her a lot. Okay, but I definitely use Valkyrie, Null, Iceman, and Titania. So, if you think you can guess who I'm about to take up, leave a comment below. I'll give you time. Pause the video. Go leave a comment. But I'm about to tell you in five, four, three two, one. The one that I'm going to take up is null. The reason that I'm taking null up, and let's go ahead and uh, look at that. We got enough that we could take him up uh, naturally, but I have other plans for that. So let's take him up. Now, the reason that I'm doing this, I use null in AQ all the time all the time and he also benefits not a ton but he does benefit from having um high sig and this one is max sig so i can see myself using this one in aq over a seven star no oh wow we don't have that many um Cosmic. Oh, we just gonna end up having to use uh some of these. And I did see a bunch of um oh they fixed it. Remember when uh I would do all, it would always leave one there. It took them all up. Yeah, let's just claim these. They're about to expire anyway. Yeah, it takes all of them now, I think. Yeah, they fixed it. It was just a little minor annoyance. But they fixed it. Huh? Oh, okay. Get rid of those. There we go. And let's take a look at Null. 
Yeah, nope, 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 not yet. We're thinking, we're thinking. See, he's Sig 200, the king in black. He just looks so cool. I got to give him that. He looks so cool. Um, I did get the profile picture for Kindred, but if they made a profile picture, just his picture, just like that, I would get it. And that would be my profile picture. But anyway, look at his uh, ability here. Not a big deal, but basically he starts with more Living Abyss. And when Corruption activates, he gets unstoppable and unblockable. That's huge. Because that sometimes gives me an opening where I didn't have one. I just time it out and then bam. And then look at him. 40% degen resistance, 60% bleed and poison resistance. He's like made for running the Ouchie Masteries, right? And I love using him. So definitely one of my uh, fun champs to use. And he's perfect for the path that I take in AQ, where you have to put on a lot of debuffs in order to do damage, three debuffs to do damage. But yeah, so anyway, that is Null. That is my rank up of Null. You can see... Um, if I took him up and ascended him, he'd get 22% more attack and health. So I thought about who I wanted to ascend and I finally made a decision. And without further ado, my ascension is going to be hit monkey. Now you guys know, you've seen me use him in battlegrounds. He's not even rank five yet. And I had some other rank fives I needed to do first. But let's ascend this boy. He's earned it. Earned it, I tell you. Coming to a battlegrounds near you. This last rank up of the video is close to my heart. That's a hint. If you think you can guess who this next champion is, leave a comment below. But I'm about to reveal it. In five, four, three, two, one. Doc Bruce Banner, belted by gamma rays, turns into the Hulk. Ain't he unglamour rays? Wrecking the town with the power of a bull. Ain't no monster who, who is as lovable as ever loving Hulk. Ho, ho. All right, so. Let's uh, take him on up here. Boom. If you heard the windows ding, it's very interesting. Uh, I was uh, working on another video and it has an alarm. Uh, let's just go ahead and do that. I don't know how many uh, science uh, ISO I have, but I was. Uh, it has an alarm for when the uh, processing is finished. And I cannot get that thing to go off. You know, I'll have it up, I'll be doing something else. And I'm like, man, it's taking a while. I'll go back, it's already done. I'm like, okay. So I said, you know what? I'm gonna make this video, I'm gonna record, and uh, it shouldn't pop up in the middle of it. So of course it did. So that's what you heard. Um, but anyway, the reason that I'm taking uh, Hulk up not just because he is my favorite Marvel character from when I was young, but also we have an event, the Winter of Woe, which right now we're fighting um, Absorbing Man. And there is an objective, Gamma, and the two that I see doing this fight is She-Hulk and Hulk. Now... I could have ranked She-Hulk up. I don't like her that much. Um, so, of course, I took up Hulk. And this... Um, well, actually, by the time you guys see this video, I will have already used him in the Winter of Woe. And uh, 
might put up a video on that. Uh, won't be going for the uh, solo, but he can do it. He can actually uh, do a solo. Um, I don't know whether I want to ascend him or not, because he does exist as a seven star. I don't have the seven star. It's one of my most wanted. And once I get him, he doesn't really need to be awakened. So once I get the seven star, I can take the seven star up to rank two. And I'm not too worried about um, the awakened ability. So my, my six star Hulk might not get used that much once I have a seven star rank two. Don't know. So I'm taking him up, but not going to ascend him. And we'll just do that fight the best we can. Uh, from what I've seen, it can either be a solo or I might end up using uh, a revive. That's uh, really my goal. And that's it. But Hulk has come a long way. Hulk is the reason that I originally started playing MCLC. It was for a chance to use Hulk in fighting. That was it. Then I got into the game, and he was not good. And I was actually insulted by the version that they had in here. I was like, what is that? I said, that's not Hulk. Even his mechanics. I was like, that's, that's not Hulk. That's a character based on Hulk, but it ain't Hulk. And for years, approximately seven, he has stayed in that state. She-Hulk got a buff, you know? Some of the other Hulks got buffs, but poor Hulk had not. But recently he did. And he is now the Hulk that he should have been from the beginning. Very, very good champion. And there he goes. Ah, look at that Hulk. Hulk. Anyway, um, let's take a look at his uh, stats here. Uh, let me move this over here. See it better. Okay, so he's got a good amount of health. Look at that. And let's look at his uh, awakening ability. See? He can gain an unstoppable. Okay. Physical and crit resistance while unstoppable based on missing health. So he don't need any of that. It's nice on defense. But other than that, doesn't need it. So as soon as I get the seven star, I'm ranking him up. And there's not really a big reason for me to use this unless um, unless I'm using him in a place where unstoppable matters. Other than that, no. Look at this. Um, whoops. Tried to scroll up with my mouse. That don't work. Degen resistance. Attack rating based on missing health. Ah, sweet. Uh, but anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. Uh, thank you all for watching. Look for a video with Hulk fighting Absorbing Man in the Winter of Woe. All right. Take care. And you all have a blessed day.